on a little tour of what's happening in our garden in the winter today. We still have grass in our front yard and so we're watering it today because it has been so desperately dry here. And this is the Back to Eden garden that we have been clearing out all the trees. If you watched any of our Get Moving videos, we were getting this cleaned up. I've left the Forsythia long because their leaves are going to be coming out here any day. And the goats really love them. So I'm going to save those branches. I'll trim them and take a pile of them out every couple of days to the goats. Um, those buckets over there hold walnut trees that we're taking to the new place. Babies from our walnut tree that we have here. We really like that tree, so we want to make sure that we get to take some with us. And so I planted some in these buckets. And there's one, that big white bucket has a um, oak tree. I kept wanting to say acorn tree. <laughs> it's an oak tree that grew from an acorn. And so we've got that that we're taking with us too. In the front of the house there, that's the raspberries. And they come up everywhere. They go under the lawn and come up in the back to Eden Garden. There was a big clump of them back there. I actually tore them out because they were going to take over the whole thing. And that is the walnut tree. A cherry tree budding out. We did some pretty drastic pruning on it the other day. It had some branches that were just way, way, way too low. This is a peach tree. It's a dwarf peach at its highest. It might get 10 feet tall. It's probably, I don't know, four feet tall now, maybe. And it's got green shoots that should be shooting out leaves here one of these first days. A young set of the egg production crew that is still here in the town coop with us. Huh, girls? Yeah? And here we have last year's curly kale. It's kind of starting to shoot up again now that it's getting a little sunnier. And so we'll get some kale off of this before it gets too unwieldy that I'll have to pull it out. And there we have rainbow swish chard. We have a yellow one, kind of a just white or a regular green one, a red one, and kind of an orange one with a darker leaf. That one's got kind of a army green, and this one's got a really dark green. And then we have red romaine coming up from lettuce that went to seed last year. The green is arugula that's coming up from something that went to seed last that's year. Herb garden. We trimmed everything back. This still has a few leaves on it, so it is still alive. It should send up some shoots. That's my sage. And this is getting some new leaves. That's thyme. The rosemary, of course, is an evergreen, so it's been green all winter. And oregano. And there's some raspberries right there. I'm not even sure how those got there. Um, we have raspberries that go kind of wild around here. And there should be more oregano down here, but it has not sprung up yet. And these are daffodils. They're going to give us some pretty color here pretty soon. There's some irises behind the raspberries. In here, there's more Egyptian walking onions. And more... I put like two of the little tubers for these irises in here and they went crazy. Again with the walking onions, a lot of these tubs here I needed to put walking onions somewhere so I could take them with me and so they're all coming up and our artichokes we planted in this tub last year because I was hoping to move them during the summer while they were growing but they're coming back up getting bigger and more irises and these don't have anything in them this one is a huge bucket of thyme 
And then I was looking on the ground here. We do have mint kind of taking over the place. Uh, right now it's not too much because it's um, died back. But there are little mint here and there. And we've got kale out here in the walkway trying to darn us to grow. And that's about all we have growing at the moment. 